Hello, this is Mortal Kombat, um, 112.99. Um, we're going to be reviewing today a good game. Um, I made some reference to this, um, game in, um, my Sonic, no, Sonic, my Mortal Kombat 2 SNES review, which is an awesome game, so check that one out. But for now, let's review this game. Um, Middle Air King Treasures 2. We're going to be reviewing that for GameCube. Um, first thing I have to say, though, is that we're not going to do a complete review. I'm going to look at two games in here, basically. I'm going to look at Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat 3. Um, so I'm just going to talk about the differences between the arcade version and these. They get all these 20 different games. Um, some, actually some of them are pretty fun, but I don't, I really like reviewing the Mortal Kombat. Let's check out the options. So the option screen's pretty good though, you get the difficulty and the blood viewer and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty, I'll give it, I'll give them credit, they did a pretty good job on the option screen. Although there's a couple of things you can't change from the, that was, that you can do in your paid version, because, yeah, it's pretty cool actually, well, I See so yeah, how loading times are kind of bad in this game. Yeah. I will say that, though. And I usually don't say that about games, so this game probably is a bad loading time. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to fix this video. PlayStation 2 and Xbox version. Uh, yeah, the color looks a little bit better on the camera. Alright, so let's begin this game. This is probably going to be a couple part episode, I'm not sure. I'm going to take my time with each of you. So you get the story, you get the story like the arcade version. You know, it's, you know, it's very, it's pretty much the same as the arcade version. Let's check out some games. I think I'd say it looks kind of different because I'm not used to lighting this low. So yeah, you get everybody, you know. Perfect arcade sound, perfect, um, perfect, um, arcade sound, arcade graphics, but there are a couple of flaws with this, which is hard to believe, because I thought this would be a perfect bird. First thing I gotta say, though, is that, um, is that sometimes, though, that you can't notice it at this stage, because there's no, there's no shadows, hang on, there's no shadows at this stage, like, at the bottom of the character, so you probably won't notice this, but, um, the um the shadows flicker when you when certain characters jump. And um this is actually from the faster place gameplay they um put on here. And um if you read the um bonus and everything though, like uh it's, I think it's in bonus or whatever, so the game description about how they changed it and everything they said they did this on purpose to make the game a little bit more better. Better? Come on, dude, I love those slower place gameplay. It's awesome. So I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah, let's check out. Let's check out. I don't know why. I was expecting a little bit off gameplay, but they did it on purpose. You know, they did it on purpose, and they're too lazy to fix that. But I like I said, this is a pretty good port. Oh dang it! I do the cut the throat fatality. At least I got double flaws. All right, here you can notice the shadow flicker. Watch the shadows on the characters on the floor. See when I jump though, they all both of us flicker. In case you haven't noticed, the game is faster, by the way. I think you can compare this to the original paper. But it still does work pretty good. And um, this is probably a better game for PS2. Because I actually never played it, though, but it's, pretty, it's probably the same thing. This probably is a way better controller. And this controller feels kind of weird. You know what I mean? If you look at this game, this is not a good classic Mortal Kombat controller. So that's the problem with it, but once you get used to it, it's a pretty fun game. So you get all the blood and and everything, you get all the combos, uh, the computer I think is pretty much the same. I think it's a little bit, I think it's a little bit faster obviously, because the game but Wow, got my butt kicked on camera. <laughs> pretty cool. You still like the dragon and everything in the background. Okay, you know, I'm not going to try the new fatality. I'm going to do the one I know how to do, which is the, um, 
which is the, um, you know, the, the toasty one, which is pretty, I like that one, by the way. Oh, yeah, sorry, you guys, I had to check the camera real quick on here. Dang. Oh, here's, a, oh, I almost forgot one important thing, though. Is that, um, is that, you, in the arcade version of this game, though, if you saw the end, Toasty over there, Dan Forden, Toasty, whatever you call him, Dan Forden. Um, in the arcade version, if you're at the portal stage, you hit down and start, though, at the portal stage when he appears. You get, you get to fight Smoke, but Smoke isn't in this version, because if you press start, though, this is what happens. This, the game screen comes up, which sucks. So, yeah, definitely not the best version of the game, but, now, nah, hell, you know, I'll take it. Pretty good version, but not the best. See, so with all the fatalities and everything, perfect animation. MK3, they would have had ultimate in it because you know, it's, per, it's really pretty much better than MK3 because the extra characters and you know everything else like that. So yeah, that's kind of retarded. But um, yeah, let's take a look at this real quick. I gotta be careful what I'm doing with it right now. Oh, ooh, that's that's bad for my reputation on camera. All right then, let's. Begin on MK3. Loading time is pretty bad. See, yeah, it opens up the arcade version. Get our perfect arcade graphics. I don't have smoke on here yet though, cause I was I, I was I was always too lazy to unlock them. Um, I'm gonna use Sindel for the review. Yeah, same version, same thing though, but faster gameplay. And this game has some huge. This game is a horrible port of it. It's a good, it's a decent port, I'll give it that, but not. It's pretty far from being a perfect port. Now the graphics and graphics are here though with the faster paced gameplay, which you can't, I, can, I can't see it though, but if you play this game, the shadows do flicker on here, has faster gameplay too. Um, and um, yeah, that's the problem with it. And um, in the, it's like a, see, it has something wrong with it though, like um, I think all copies of the game do this though, is that when you do a fatality though, the music like, it stops, it like, it never stops, and then when it says fatality, the music stops, period, listen. The finishing music still playing, if you heard that. But you get all the stages and everything from regular MK3. It's a shame that they didn't have ultimate MK3. But, oh well, what are you gonna do? I was I was gonna review Mortal Kombat again, but my Wii, I have to get a new, I have to get a new sensor bar for it. Why? I'm not telling you. It's a long story. ratings on here though. The port, this port of MK3, I'll give it a um, 6 out of 10. Yes, I said 6 out of 10, pretty bad. The um, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2 port, I'll give it like a 9 out of 10, which is pretty good. And then the whole game itself though, like the entire game with all the games on it though, I'll have to give it a 9 out of 10, which is awesome. So, so yeah, get this game for any type of format you have. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about this game. It has everything in it, fatalities, you know, you name it. Some of, I didn't show it on the other games because um, I'm not good at it, to be honest. So um, so yeah, see you next time. The next review is gonna be, I'm not sure. 
We'll find out, and I'll uh, see you next time. Mortal Kombat 112.99 is out.